Hi, thanks for your interest in this Bridgeport CNC mill. The CNC is two axis and it has a three axis Accurite digital readout on the XY and the quill. We're thinking that the frame of the machine is around a 1990. We're going to take a quick look at the machine and then Lamont is going to run it for us. I wanted to give you the serial number BR2566678. This mill has had limited use and is in very, very good condition. Okay, Trish. This uh, Bridgeport um, has the Bridgeport Easy Path control system on it. So you probably from the 1990-99 range, somewhere around in there, um, is a point-to-point -point programming CNC control. Um, it goes off of the uh, the motors and the scales. Um, it has the scales on both the y-axis, uh, the x-axis, and the z-axis. So when I move down. The quill, it shows me a display on it. Now, it is not powered off of the quill manual operation. Um, to do simple programming, um, this control is great for uh, one-offs, one stuff like that. You can also repeat. It does have um, uh, conversational kind of built into it. You have um, drilling cycles, milling cycles, and arcs on your... Um, so if I want to program a simple program of, say, doing four, uh, drill four holes in a piece of metal, okay, I'd come over, I'd turn, uh, turn the machine on. That's going to start the spindle. Now you can program in both, uh, without the spindle on also, but I'll just show you that it's, uh, that it runs with the spindle on it. And I'm going to program in basically this part right here of drilling four bolt hole circles. And how I do that, just do one, drill cycles, it asks me a number of holes, I'm going to say four holes, enter. This is my starting position and I'm just going to go zero on both X and Y. It's asking me for a radius, how far apart. I want them, um, I'm going to say two inch radius, and my starting angle, I'm going to start it off at 45 degrees is what that's asking me. Set. Um, once that's all programmed, all I have to do is hit the start button, push and hold it for three seconds. It's asking me to check my Z axis, which it's up, because the table's going to be start moving at this time. I'm going to hit go. And it's just going to go over to my first, my zero position, I can come over, I can drill my hole, if I had drill fit in there, and drill my hole. It's telling me now I can go to my next position. And it automatically goes to my, my second hole. I can drill my hole. Go to my third, drill a hole. Now it's going to my fourth hole. And so what I did was I drilled this hole, this hole, this hole, and this hole. And so now I'm drilling a hole. Now if I uh, want to just mill, mill a line after, after this cycle, I can hit do one, mill, my beginning. I'm going to start off at my zero. My end of my Y is going to be zero. And I'm going to do a, a three inch line basically, mill a three inch line. Uh, this gives me my radiuses since it's just a, a straight one. I'm going to put a one in there. Uh, and my feed rate, I'll just say 20 inches per minute is what that's going to show. If I hit start, it's asking me for a tool diameter. I'll say a quarter inch tool diameter. Now it's just asking me to start. So when, when I hit start, it just asks me to check my Z. It's up. 
It's gone to zero, zero, because that's where I told it to go. Now if I hit go, as you see, it's fading. So if I have my mill down here, a piece of mill, and I want to mill a slot, it's going to mill over. Uh, it did the two inches back to zero, as I told it to do. And that's as simple as it is to program uh, one shots. You can do cycles as well, so if I want to program that in to make that line afterwards, um, I could have just kept programming and it would have gone through that cycle. So that's a um, very simple control to use. Um, I've gone through it thoroughly. Everything runs fine on it. So thank you very much. Thank you for your interest. Please call if you have questions, 801-531-9500.